Brain Freeze. You take a big gulp of something icy, and within seconds it feels like an ice pick just slammed into your forehead. That sudden stabbing sensation is what we call brain freeze. It happens when extreme cold hits the roof of your mouth and shocks the delicate blood vessels underneath. They tighten up in response, then rebound by widening almost immediately. This rapid change fires off pain signals that travel along nerves toward your brain, which mistakenly tags the pain as coming from your head rather than your mouth. The result is a headache so sudden and intense, it feels as if your brain itself has frozen solid. This misrouting of signals happens because sensory pathways overlap. The trigeminal nerve, responsible for feeling in the face and head, becomes involved when the palate is shocked with extreme cold. The brain struggles to correctly assign the source of pain, so you get that sharp, icy jab in the forehead. It's not dangerous, and it usually passes within seconds, but it's a clear example of how your body's wiring can misfire under unusual conditions. Hypnic Jerks as you drift off to sleep, your body suddenly jolts, arms flail, legs kick, and sometimes you even wake yourself with a startled grunt. These are hypnic jerks, involuntary muscle contractions that strike during the transition from wakefulness to sleep. When your body relaxes deeply, your brain can misinterpret the signals as a sign of falling. In response, it sends a surge of activity through your nerves, snapping your muscles into action as if to catch yourself from a drop. Some researchers believe hypnic jerks are a leftover evolutionary reflex. For our ancestors who slept in trees or elevated shelters, a sudden loss of muscle tension could have meant slipping from a branch. A jolt at the edge of sleep might have been a built-in safety net to prevent a fall. Today they are harmless, but the experience can be unnerving. Your body isn't malfunctioning, it's simply running an outdated protective program written long before mattresses and pillows existed. Goosebumps. When a sudden chill runs across your skin or an intense piece of music swells, tiny bumps rise on your arms. These goosebumps are the result of minuscule muscles at the base of your hair follicles, called erector pili, contracting automatically. This reflex is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system, the part of your body that also triggers fight-or-flight responses. When the muscles tighten, each hair is pulled upright, creating the characteristic raised texture across your skin. In early humans and animals with thicker body hair, this reaction served two purposes, trapping more air to create insulation in the cold and making the body appear larger when threatened. Today, with far less body hair, goosebumps have lost their survival function but remain hardwired into our systems. The fact that they can be triggered by both temperature changes and emotional intensity shows how tightly linked physical and psychological responses are in the human body. The Sleep Paralysis Glitch You wake up and find yourself unable to move, as if pinned down by an unseen weight. This is sleep paralysis, a phenomenon that happens when your brain regains consciousness while your body is still locked in the muscle atonia of REM sleep. During REM, the brain disables most voluntary muscles to prevent you from physically acting out dreams. But sometimes, the waking process and the muscle release fall out of sync. The result is awareness without mobility. The immobility is often accompanied by vivid hallucinations, shadowy figures, voices, or the sensation of pressure on the chest. These experiences occur because dream imagery can bleed into waking consciousness while the body remains paralyzed. Although frightening, sleep paralysis is generally harmless and passes in seconds to minutes. It's one of the clearest examples of how slight misalignment in brain-body timing can create experiences that feel otherworldly, even though they are rooted in normal physiology. Deja vu. Walking into a room you've never seen before can suddenly feel strangely familiar, as though you've already experienced the moment. This uncanny glitch called deja vu is the result of a temporary error in the way your memory systems communicate. Normally, your brain sorts experiences into short-term and long-term memory in real time, but sometimes the process overlaps. Your brain mistakenly labels the present as something that has already been stored. The event feels like a memory even though it is happening for the first time. Another explanation suggests that two parallel brain pathways, one for recognition, one for familiarity, fall slightly out of sync. Imagine a movie where the audio track runs just a fraction behind the video. The mismatch feels eerie even though nothing is wrong with the film itself. Deja vu is not harmful, and it's actually more common in younger people with healthy brains, which shows it isn't a sign of damage. Instead, it's your brain buffering reality and replaying it to you as though it already happened. Hiccups. A hiccup is a sudden spasm of the diaphragm, the dome-shaped muscle beneath your lungs that helps you breathe. When this spasm happens, your vocal cords snap shut at the same moment, producing the sharp hick sound. The trigger can be something simple like eating too quickly, drinking carbonated beverages, or even experiencing a sudden change in temperature. 
In many cases, though, hiccups start without any obvious cause, as if the communication between brain and diaphragm briefly misfires. What makes hiccups interesting is that they are partly a leftover reflex from our evolutionary past. Some scientists suggest they may be linked to the same neural pathways used in amphibians that control gill breathing. In humans, the reflex no longer serves a vital function, but it remains embedded in our nervous system. Each hiccup is essentially your diaphragm firing off an unnecessary contraction, like a piece of outdated code still running in your body's operating system. The jolt of time dilation. In sudden emergencies like a near-miss car accident or a fall, it can feel as though time itself slows down. This experience, known as time dilation, comes from the brain's survival system working at maximum capacity. When the amygdala detects extreme stress or danger, it floods the body with adrenaline and forces heightened awareness. Your brain then records more detail per second than it usually does, so when you later recall the event, it feels as though it lasted longer than it actually did. The key is that external time doesn't change, your internal processing speed does. Think of it like recording a video at a higher frame rate. The footage captures more frames, but the duration is unchanged. During danger, your brain gathers as much sensory information as possible to improve reaction time, even though it leaves you with the impression that the world briefly entered slow motion. This temporary distortion reveals just how elastic our perception of reality can be under pressure. Phantom Phone Vibrations You're sitting quietly and suddenly you feel your phone buzzing in your pocket. You reach for it only to realize it never vibrated at all. This is Phantom Vibration Syndrome, a modern glitch where your nervous system creates the false sensation of a phone notification. Because your brain is so accustomed to receiving frequent alerts, it begins to anticipate them. When your nerves send a small random twitch from muscles or skin receptors, your brain interprets it as the familiar buzz of a phone. This misinterpretation is an example of sensory expectation shaping perception. Just like Pavlov's dog salivated at the sound of a bell, your body now associates certain minor sensations with incoming digital signals. Over time, your brain can trick you into perceiving vibrations even when your phone is turned off or not on your body. It's not a disorder. Rather, it's a byproduct of how tightly modern habits become wired into our nervous system. Eye floaters. When you stare at a bright sky or a white wall, faint squiggles or dots may drift across your vision. These are eye floaters, and they come from tiny bits of collagen or cellular debris suspended in the vitreous humor, the gel-like substance filling the eye. As light enters, these particles cast shadows on your retina, which your brain interprets as moving shapes. Because they drift with the movement of your eyes, you can't look at them directly. They seem to dart away when you try to focus on them. Floaters are usually harmless, part of the natural aging of the eye, but they highlight how much a vision depends on interpretation. Your brain normally filters them out so you don't notice, but in uniform backgrounds like clear skies, the contrast makes them stand out. In rare cases, a sudden increase in floaters can signal a retinal problem, but most of the time they are simply the visual equivalent of static, harmless background noise generated inside your own eyes. Hypersensitive Sneezing Reflex For some people, sneezing happens without the usual culprits of dust or allergies. Bright sunlight, sudden temperature changes, or even finishing a large meal can trigger an unexpected sneezing fit. This occurs because of overlapping nerve pathways in the face and head, particularly the trigeminal nerve, which is responsible for facial sensation. When the optic nerve or vagus nerve is stimulated by light or stomach expansion, the sneeze reflex can be mistakenly activated. One of the most fascinating versions is the photic sneeze reflex, where exposure to sudden bright light makes someone sneeze. Around one in five people experience this, showing how common the wiring mix-up is. Another rare form is called snatiation, where sneezing follows a full stomach. These glitches show just how interconnected the body systems are. Stimulating one nerve can unexpectedly trigger another, making the sneeze reflex fire even when there's no irritant to expel. Don't just watch the world, subscribe and understand it.